My name is Paul Heath. I paint images of uh, pop nostalgia. Here we are at 715 and a half East 3rd South, where my studio is located. Well, this is, uh, again, uh, kind of paying homage to those retro toys. Um, I think its full name is like Atomics X8. It's a little Japanese toy. Dear friends Michael Mack and Kim Smith have a good collection of old toys and uh, oftentimes work from photographs. So I'll go photograph some of their toys or I'll have my own toys here. I don't know if you can see uh, just a dusty collection here of, of things that uh, I keep on hand. And it fits within the, again, that sort of playful nostalgia, you know, inspiration. I, I want people to have fun. Uh, I have fun, you know, while I'm working and I've, I, I'm just hoping people will have fun, you know, when they see my stuff. Here I'm sitting in, at this beautiful easel and stuff, but a lot of times I just sit on the floor and I just hold the canvas. Again, it goes back to my days of uh, doing homework in front of the TV and just sitting down, you know, uh, getting everything done, you know, as close to the TV as possible. I became primarily a silkscreen artist right after I graduated in, in 85. I did a lot of silkscreen. So the, the inspiration to go three-dimensional, you know, came from a response to the silkscreening because silk screening is so flat. And, and it, it might have also been a reaction to just the burnout of you know, the solvent-based inks that one day I just decided, oh, what if I started to work with plywood? And it first started out by adding the plywood extensions to flat canvases. So, and I like to paint snow domes, a lot of snow domes. And I had this one uh, snow dome of the Statue of Liberty. And so the Statue of Liberty came up and off the canvas. I got into doing these kind of plywood pieces and, and then they they sort of evolved into their own direction. On larger paintings I tend to project uh, to try to stay you know truer and have a little bit more photorealist quality so I, I do have an opaque projector. On smaller pieces I just hand draw stuff and then you know so the proportion is always a little bit quirky. Generally the reaction is is very positive and and you know I see people smiling when they see my work and that's that's always a good sign. And, and I think the stories I want to tell are, are a little bit more, you know, comical or immediate, you know, that will put a smile on your face versus, you know, make you feel like, oh, that, you know. In a way, it's, it's trying to be a lighter David Lynch, maybe, <laughs> you know, as opposed to the darker, seedier side of things. I mean, maybe there's still, you know, an edge to things, you know, where, like, if you look at that neon sign long enough, you wonder, you know, what's going on there, <laughs> you know. But, but no, most of the time it's just, you know, good, clean, fun.